I think it's like, I feel like it's something that everyone should do or should try to do if you have the means to, because it's like everyone should know who they're from. Like you might not even come back and see like the great, great, great grandmother or, you know, even the aunt that, you know, you have, but just being here and experiencing being around this, you know, this many people, like I grew up around African-American people. I grew up around Africans, you know what I'm saying? Nigerians. So like the differences are obvious, but the similarities are as well. You know what I'm saying? So like them even coming here, it wouldn't be, it will, it would be a, a culture shock, but it wouldn't be in a negative way. Like they'll leave, you know, go back home. I feel like with a sense of, you know, completion maybe, or just a little bit, you know, just a little bit better than when they came. You know, I just think it's something that anybody needs, whether you're African-American, whether you're Nigerian, whether you're Ghanaian, you know, all of that. Like, yeah. It's multiple people. Uh, you have like Michael Jackson for sure, Beyonce, um, Chris Brown. I love them three, most especially because of their musical capability, variety, their range, like the fact that they're able to perform the way that they do. To me, it's just like, I love performances. I love art. Like, I love when people can make a performance an experience, you know what I'm saying? Rather than just like a regular show. And that's what they do. And even with their music, their delivery is a variety of things. Um, Wizkid as well, like even with the directions that he goes musically, you know what I'm saying? Like, he kind of did the, the vibey wave that I was always trying to do with the Afro beats. So he kind of was the one person that I could look up to musically as far as that. But yeah, definitely those three as far as like artistry. Even when he came up, like Nigerian artists weren't really that dominant in the American industry, in the rap game. Like if they were rapping, you know, it was probably someone who was not Nigerian or it was rare that it was somebody who was Nigerian. So to just see him make it and then do it, you know, as quick, I don't want to say as quickly as he did, but kind of, you know, as quickly as he did and then be consistent. It was like, it was a great feeling. And like now everyone from the DMV is just like ready to get put on. And, you know, there's so much talent out there. So, you know, it was only a matter of time. We needed that like one pioneer. So we're thankful. We're thankful. <laughs> we're thankful for Wale. Yeah. So in general, it would definitely be like Summer Walker or Janae Aiko or Beyonce, of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, their music is just like the voice and the deliver, like everything is just so natural with them as far as the music and I love that. It's not forced, you know, it's not, cause that's kind of just like how I am. So I, I resonate with it. And so those are like people that I would love to work with. As far as Afrobeats, um, you said woman in particular, um, definitely Yemi Alade. Oh my gosh, like her talent to me is just like, her energy, her performing, like I said, like I look at music as a whole, not just the songs, like it's deeper than that for me. So like I look at, when I look up to an artist, it's in that sense. And to her, she's like, to me, she's like, A1, A1, A1 all day. Yeah. SARS, um, Jules, even though he's not a you know, Nigerian producer, but 100%, 100, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm still heavy on the Summer Walker, even though it dropped a month ago. Like, I, I can listen to that album through straight, like not skip a song, which is rare, rare. Not skip one song and listen to it over and over again. Um, her, I believe, uh, a new artist that I just got put on, Dio, D-Y-O. It's Dio, Dio. Fire. She's an amazing artist. She's kind of like um, me, you know, with the Afro, so mm -hmm. Afro swing. Like, I just like, you know, people who are trying to do the same thing, you know, just seeing how they're approaching it and everything. She's fire. Um, always Janae Aiko, uh, Berna. I'm like, what? That's not even a question. Like, what? <laughs> Is that a question? You know? <laughs> Whisk his sound from the other side. I love that album because he was able to do what I'm trying to do, which is incorporate other sounds with Afrobeats. So to me, I was just like, he had like salsa music on there, then he had the R&B, then he had the everything. I think it was probably more of a shock because when that project was released, I think that was like, what, 2018, 17? Right, so that sound still was kind of fairly new. Like it wasn't, as, then that's why, you know what I'm saying? It was fairly new back then. So it was probably just like a, it was different, but that album had way more than that. You know what I'm saying? Those are the songs that didn't get that much love. I think, I think One Dance did like, I mean, yeah, I think they did okay. You know, Come Closer, I think it did okay. Um, but the other ones, like I said, they just weren't, they were, it was different. It was new, you know, so it probably took a while for people to kind of warm up to it. So that might be, you know, the main reason why.
The Alternative Network.